Hey, it's Matt the Momo Hunter from McGee Farms, and I'm uh, going to be talking a little bit about Femco sprayers and a little troubleshooting on uh, the one that we have. So this is my Kubota BX2370 that we bought for mowing the grass a few years back. And one of the things I did was, I've done a video on this, but I mounted a rack on the back of it so I could mount the sprayer. I use it in the springtime when we fertilize the grass and uh, when we're doing, actually use it around the farm a little bit when we're doing controlled burns. I use a little bit to kind of wet the outer area, but the spot sprayer, the gun, we've got a lot of fruit trees, flowers that I can't really get to with a hose that well, and I don't want to be running five gallon buckets out there to water them. So it works pretty good for watering all the trees. I believe it's a 1.2, 1.5 gallon per minute pump, something like that. But the last couple of days I've been watering and it loses pressure once you start watering. And let me hop on it, go out to one of the trees and I'll kind of show you what I'm talking about. So this is one of the trees that we've got that I water. And if you kind of watch the stream, I don't know how well you can see it, but uh, it'll start to really go down to about nothing. And if you look at the pump, Pump should be on about 40. Yesterday it was uh, barely holding zero. So basically, what we're going to do is uh, we're going to go in, like if I stop it, come back up and it'll start going down. So we're going to go in and we're going to clean the strainer out. I'm going to show you how to do it. So, first, simple troubleshooting. Going to make sure you got water in there, which this is about halfway full. Uh, Kind of look around, see if you see any kind of kinks in the line. Uh, take the top off. I'm going to look inside. And I don't see any obstruction. I reach my hand in there. There's no obstruction to the line. The line is definitely, you know, under the water. So it's definitely not that. So I'm going to drain this tank. And I'm going to pull the strainer out and take a look at the strainer. And hopefully that's where our problem is. Okay, so I've emptied the tank. I put all the water into five gallon buckets. Now, a minute ago, you saw me reaching in the tank, kind of checking to see, you know, what things look like. There's only water in there. I do occasionally in the summertime when the bugs get bad, I'll spray my fruit trees. So there'll be a little spray in, a little fertilizer. But as soon as I'm done spraying for that particular time, I drain it into five gallon buckets and uh, run some water through to kind of get it all out. Plus. I water my trees, so it's probably had a good 50, 60 or more uh, tanks of water gone through to clean it out. But if you're questionable what's in there, you know, wear gloves, wear some PPE, whatever, uh, you know, you're comfortable with. So we're going to go in right now and I'm going to pull the line out for the strainer. How well you can see it. But uh, right behind here, there's a little hose. You pull it out, and once you get it out, yeah, it's got a strainer itself. It has a little bit in there, but how well you can get the camera in there. But the line where it comes out. Uh, it is pretty gunky in there, so I'm going to purge that real quick, and hopefully that's going to fix my problem. So as I was spraying it out with the hose, I noticed there's another part that came out, and I got it unscrewed, and you can kind of see in there, there's like a hunk of plastic that came loose and was stuck in there, and that's kind of what was uh, really reducing my flow. So some needle nose pliers should be able to pull it out. There was a little bit of scale, kind of cleaned it out real good. Uh, let me pull this out and uh, we'll see how well it works. So we came down to where some of the fruit trees are and uh, it's holding pressure now. It's uh, staying about, about 30 PSI, but the water flow, which was going down to a trickle, it's staying pretty consistent at this point. So 
anyway if you've got one if you've got some problems with water flow that's something you you can check uh, look through see maybe if there's other filters or screens in there as well but uh that did the trick and there was a lot of gunk in there i don't know how that gunk got in but anyway if you like the video if it helped you out uh it is appreciated if you subscribe if you like leave a comment all of that is uh, greatly appreciated or share it with your friends